Hello and welcome to a new lesson Literal Meaning of Corpus Linguistics Lecture 1 Corpus Linguistics is divided into two segments The first one is Corpus and the second one is Linguistics First we will talk about Corpus and then briefly we will talk about Linguistics Let's discuss each one of the elements The word Corpus it is a Latin word or you can say it comes from a Latin word in simple English language, it is being referred to as corps with a spelling C-O-R-P-S-E and we have another word C-O-R-P-S. Both of them refer to the same Latin word corpus and it refers to the idea of body. And what is body? Body as a group of something, body as collection of something, not human body, of course. We continue our discussion about corpus. In fact, corpus is a collection of texts of a particular author. As I told you, corpus refers to body, body refers to group or collection. In that way, it is a group of texts, a collection of texts of a particular author, of a particular writer, of a particular creative person, of a particular leader in a speech, and all that. For example, we can say the corpus of William Shakespeare William Mosworth, Charles Dickens. Thus, it means the collection of everything he ever wrote, William Shakespeare ever wrote. Here, what we have to notice is that there is a difference between corpus and collection. Collection doesn't necessarily mean it's all kept in one place like a library or a database, which corpus does. Collection, it simply refers to everything in existence that fits into that category. So there is a difference between corpus and collection. Collection is about a group of something into a particular category, while corpus is being kept in one place in a large database. We continue our discussion. Corpus. So what we can say is that corpus is a body or a large collection of texts. And text should be real world texts. When we say real world text, it means that text generated by human beings in real situations like those of writers who write novels, those of authors who write journals, create magazines, deliver speeches and so on. They are the real world texts, real life experienced texts. Corpus is a singular noun and its plural form is corpora or corpuses. Now it is time to discuss linguistics and I don't want to spend more time upon talking about what linguistics is all about. We all know that linguistics is the scientific study of language. Here my focus is about corpus linguistics. As I told you corpus linguistics is divided between two segments corpus and linguistics and now let us put together both corpus linguistics as we now understand what is corpus, what is linguistics. So basically, the corpus linguistics, it is the study of language based on large collections of real-life language use stored in corpora or corpuses. We continue to the next point. Corpus linguistics, it is a computerized database created for linguistic research. We have some more ideas. It is also known as corpus-based studies. It is also viewed by some linguists as a research tool like corpus linguistics which is stored or which stores a large amount of information in a database can be utilized as a research tool and of course it is used in that way let's review the lesson review one it is a latin word means the word corpus is a latin word in simple english language it is being referred to as corpse or corpse see the difference between the spellings Corpus refers to the idea of meaning as body, body as group or collection. Corpus is a collection of texts of a particular author. For example, the corpus of William Shakespeare, the collection of everything he wrote in that way. Corpus helps us store a large amount of data at one place, while collection is just being put into a category somewhere. The difference between corpus and collection. We have review two about, of course, corpus. Corpus includes real-life texts such as novels, drama, stories, general speeches, and so on, 
corpus does not include computer generated texts though it stores real life text in a computerized database this is a very important point to understand that corpus does not accept computer generated texts computer generated linguistic elements but it does store its information about language in a computerized form in a computerized database so that you can retrieve whenever you want from the system by searching information continue our discussion thus corpus linguistics is the study of language based on large collections of real life language use stored in corpora or corpuses it is a computerized that is to say corpus linguistics here we are talking about is a computerized database created for linguistic research corpus linguistics is also known as corpus based studies and the last point is corpus linguistics is also viewed by some linguists as a research tool hope you understand the concept thank you and goodbye